All right, welcome back to the channel. On today's episode, we're gonna be covering a cool little tool that I've seen used around and I wanted to try it myself. It's the Blaster Sidekick. It's a high performance portable dryer, blasts water off bikes in minutes. We do know that it has some uses listed here for cars too, so rims, mirrors, cool spots like that. Let's open up the box and see what we got inside. All right, a couple attachments here. Standard packaging. All right, there it is. The blaster sidekick. It looks pretty awesome too. All right, so it's pretty straightforward. Got a few more items in here. Looks like the warranty card. Ah, some instructions, but we already know what we're doing here, right? <laughs> ah, let's get after it. All right, so right off the bat, it looks like a good build, nice and solid metal. Uh, has a filter on the bottom. You can see that filter right there. Looks pretty good. And we got the on and off switch. Very short cord, says it's 14 inches, but I don't know. Probably is 14, but it's not that long, so we gotta factor that in. So let's talk about what this item says that it will do. It says it'll cut drying time up to 75%. We're gonna put that to the test. Blows warm, dry, clean, filtered air through the filter on the bottom. Looking forward to that. Third horsepower motor, so we can expect some good, strong blow force on that one. Prevents rust, water has no place to hide. That's the whole point in all this, is to blow all that water out uh, so it doesn't leave spots and rust or anything else in there. So again, the next one eliminates water spots and after streaking, and it claims that it's better, safer than compressed air or leaf blowers. See a lot of people using leaf blowers. That's not a bad idea either. I find that this is probably more uh, industry specific, but let's give it a go. So without any further delay, let's get on out there and get this thing happening here. All right. Let's get started by trying to clear the water off of a non-treated item. You can see when we hit it with the air that it's just evaporating it right off. There's no beading, no sheeting, so the water just can't be pushed off of the surface. It just dries in place. This isn't necessarily a bad thing. It's just a lot more work. But with that being said, it still dries it very well. All right, and if you haven't already done so, Please subscribe, hit the like button, leave a comment, show your support so other people can see the video. We appreciate it. Without any delay, let's get back to it. Let's try it on my old wheels. These do have some hydrophobic product on there and you can see it really just pushing the water off of the wheel instead of drying it in place. It's so much easier, so much nicer. This is where this machine shines. Here's a close up and you can see that water just getting pushed right off. All right, we made quick work of that. Now let's try some treated glass. You can see again, it's just blowing the water straight off the surface, just like we want. The Tesla has these large all glass panel roof. It's really nice, but it is kind of a big job for this little machine. You can, however, do a full touchless drying with this machine. The catch is, can you get the whole car blown dry prior to the air drying it and leaving water spots? I'll leave that up to you. All right, let's try it on a treated hood. Same thing, it's just pushing the water along, it's not drying in place. If this wasn't a treated panel, this would just be a nightmare. One of my favorite uses for this machine is hitting those emblems. It just blows all the water off nice and easy. Another thing it's good for, door handles. So my favorite uses for this machine, wheels and tires, door handles, emblems, Anywhere where water collects and it's going to drip out later, or anywhere that's a nuisance to get the water dried with a microfiber towel. You can see here, it's just blowing the water straight out of those hard to reach cracks. 
this is just another tool to help supplement that drying process just to make things easier on you. All right, so that's how the Blaster Sidekick portable car and bike dryer works. I thought it worked outstanding. It does have its good points and it's got its not so good points. So let's just get right after it and hit the bad points first. One thing I didn't like about it is that big clunky cord. I mean, that thing right there, just banging on the paint. And I know some people say, hey, just sling it over your shoulder and it'll be out of the way. That's all fine and dandy, but having a four or six foot cord on this thing would also help. So we're not dragging it all over the place and beating everything up. Also, it's, it's a little bit heavy. So when you're reaching out there trying to do like a over top of something and it pounds down on the paint, there we go. We got a little dinger on our paint. We don't want that. But that's all stuff that we can manage very easily. But what can it do well? I feel like it did everything that it said on the box, to be honest. It blows out that water out of door handles. It blows it out around the mirrors. It blows it out around all the cracks in the doors. And any standing water on the car that can't be easily wiped up with a microfiber towel can be blown away with this. And I feel like that's the best way to use it. We wash the car, we hit it with a microfiber towel, dry it. Then we turn around and blow out all these areas and then wipe it down with a microfiber towel again. And it's a great addition to our detailing arsenal. All in all, I give this thing a pretty good rating. The blow power on this thing, let's just take a look at that. It's pretty good, man. Whoa. So it's got outstanding power, just like it claims. And the air coming out's warm and you can see it drying easily on the paint. So with that being said, I'm happy about it. It gets a thumbs up for me and I'm going to add it to my kit and use it every time I detail that vehicle. All right. So we appreciate you coming by today and checking out this video. If you want to see more videos like this, please hit the subscribe button, leave a comment and like the video, do everything you can because it helps other people see the video and we like sharing our knowledge out there. So thank you again and we'll see you on the next one. Yeah.